Good afternoon from Saskatchewan. My name is Liza Zed. This is my lovely husband, Mike, and welcome back to Last Plays. And today, we're continuing with Shadowrun Returns. And possibly concluding, we'll see how well we do. Into the Depths. The cold utilitarian facilities of the Brotherhood's private areas break away into degenerate and sprawling subterranean tunnels. Tunnels that were not crafted by the hands of man. Or woman. Or non-binary entity. Anyway. Uh, the air is foul with the smell of decaying flesh and something else. A rank, stinging acid bite that hits noses and eyes hard. Wet, squirming noises echo through the tunnels, punctuated by low moans and the occasional gasp. <laughs> For what you can't tell. One thing you can tell, though, Aegis works. You shoulder your launcher and keep going. Ugh. This is so gross. We continue on down into the belly of the beast. Perhaps you should construct an epic poem about our adventure here. It would not be the first written about me, to be sure. I shall consider it. Now, onward! You hear him muttering rhymes to himself as he walks. I was kidding. Okay. He knows that. Yeah. It's not going to stop him. Is that door anything? Or is that... Well, it doesn't seem to be registering. Wow, your movement is shit. Ha! Well, that sucks. Why didn't I see that coming? Why would you see it coming? The breakaway wall. I didn't see that the wall was breakaway. Oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, I got shit all I can do against ghosts, so what do I do now? Pardon me. Bless you. 
Well done. Do those go anywhere? No. Nope. Those don't go anywhere. No, there's just bugs in high holes. They're annoying. Yeah. No, see, something's gonna jump out of there. Or there. Or both. Well, I feel really stupid if bugs don't come out, which they don't appear to be. Yeah, because we we turned over the turn that went to Coyote's turn and nothing happened, so. assholes. Let's try that again with less stupid. Everyone, I missed. But why is that good news? Uh, because I accidentally put my own guy in the line of fire because I'm an idiot. Well, you suck. liked it once, they'll love it twice. gonna regret that, but... That looks like it should be cover, you know? Um, it's not cover because it's... Oh, I get it. It's a visibility. wall. Visibility. It's a wall. It blocks visibility completely. here and trigger some bugs and draw fire oh shit
That's not what I meant to do. Time to dismiss this guy? I think so. Alright, I forgot about that. Have you met those guys here? These are all horrible. <laughs> kill the... Kill the ghost. Uh, kill, kill the spirit. my most recent. I'm trying to decide if it's better to use Wounded 15, so... Forgetting how shitty that is. Um, oh, shit. Was not thinking. any consolation, mm -hmm. you are doing better in this fight than I did my first two times through. Oh my god, I hate that thing. Is this close enough that I'll be able to get him? Yeah. Six squares is usually the, uh, the limit, I think. I hate going in blind like this. I hate this layout. I hate everything about this entire situation.
Oh. Does that scream bottleneck to anyone else? Here we go, assholes to beat up. And then resupply. And then resupply. Oh, is that what all this is about? <laughs> nice. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Okay. I have to move first. medkit on himself and then a premium medkit on Coyote. Now we're good. I think I want to go through that yet, unless I'm wrong. Uh, you've got no place else to go. Yeah, but I want to. I want to have the start of the round be the start of the round. Am I making sense? Yeah, if it is the boss fight, it's going to because it's going to like restart. It's going to be oh, the load screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind then. Well, I'm dumb. Thought I said yes.
The Bug Shaman. A rhythmic thrumming punctuates the air, passing through you, vibrating your lungs and your chest and making it hard to breathe. It's an electricity that makes the hair on your skin stand up in protest. Ahead, you hear the sounds of chanting, accented, accented by the moist wriggling of larvae. There are low rumbles, too, stone on stone. The sense of imminence is everywhere. Something is coming, and it has to be stopped. <clears throat> Let me know if you want any hints. So there's nothing along these. So there's basically nothing to do in this area, but... Yeah. We get some dialogue first, don't we? Because that's always the way. We do. I'm I'm trying to bring the right voice to it. Okay. Fair enough. Coyote Blue, stop! The queen approaches! The vessel! The summoning! We cannot be disturbed! There is no vessel and there will be no queen. You may have taken Marie Louise, our chosen, but another Celestrian will take her place. I give myself willingly. I will be host to our queen and the mother of a new world. I've seen what these things do, Lynn, but the queen will devour you, body and soul. And then crap out a few billion young. Bleh! Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right to enjoy yourself. <laughs> no. I was apologizing for... Bleh! Just, I don't know. I feel like it... I, 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 I was apologizing <sighs> for ruining the moment. <laughs> you didn't ruin the moment. Harlequin did. No! I will become a perfect being! Through me and through my sacrifice, a new age will begin! Well, you're not wrong. The Hive has no thought beyond hunger, no goal beyond reproduction. We are one. Sam had a hunger too, didn't he? What? You said it yourself. Sam had appetites. All that mattered to him was his next fix. We vile appetites. Appetites he couldn't control. And he died for them. Because I willed it. Yeah, but why? There was more to it than just your mother. You came under the thrall of these creatures long before you knew of your mother's death. The Brotherhood, they, they were a family to me. Yes, and they had already freed you from your old what life. So why come back? Why kill Sam? I had to. For what he did. What he become. You said Sam represented a sickness in the world. But I think he represented the sickness in you. You're, you're trying to confuse me. You saw a wrongness in yourself, and you projected it onto Sam. No, I... He... He was your brother, Jessica. Your twin, don't you see? I'm... I'm sorry. But there is no turning back. I cannot undo what's been done, and I can't stop what is to come. The Queen is near! Well, that was weird. I wonder if that did anything. Okay. Of course they don't put any ley lines next to cover. Well, there's partial cover. I'm guessing we need to destroy these things? Um, you need to... Uh... You need to take down Jessica. Um, hitting the... Hitting the open pillar will slow her down. 
for a bit. The open pillar. The open pillar. So the pillar. closed pillar doesn't do anything. I don't think so, no. Unless I should save that for when we need healing. In hell. Yes, but what does that have to do with this? Well, it's kind of hellish. Okay, you know. Uh... This music is bitching, by the way. She's drawing power from that thing! Oh, goddamn, of course there are ads. Did I just kill it? No, nope. I didn't. So, wailing on- should I wail on this thing or wail on Jessica? Wail on Jessica. The only real reason to hit the pillars is to 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 make them sleep. That oh, one's okay. got a Z over it. That's got the Z's over it. So. You bitch. Jessica or Bombardier? Bombardier. Bombardiers are super nasty. They are. So... really sucks because there's a whole bunch of people with trauma kits. Why won't they let them use them on you? 
I know, right? Is there even a point to... Well, you can use trauma kits on other people. But apparently they can't use it on you. That's bullshit. Look, I have said it before. I probably won't get a chance to say it again. <laughs> but the UI in Shadow and Returns has places where it's kind of boiled crap. <clears throat> because it was put together on an entirely Kickstarter-funded budget in kind of a hurry. The sequels are much, much better. Yeah, well. Um, I think I'm gonna... I, I don't think I'm gonna play the sequels. That's fair. Sorry. I should be clear. I'm not gonna play the sequels on Last Place. Yeah. I've already started playing Dragonfall on my own. Why does this feel like I'm just gonna be beating my head against this fight forever and ever and ever? Probably should have waited until I got in position. Actually, I don't know what position... I don't know if I should do this the same as I did last time. Probably not, since I failed. Harlequin, I believe I sent to kill this thing. Yeah. And Coyote, I had poised between these two things. I don't even know what getting that down to zero hit points actually does. I don't remember the the details of this fight. It's been too damn. No. It closes it apparently. That was dumb because I should have been aiming for Jessica. Well, no, now you know. I... This may be a fight where it takes some experimentation. Yeah, that's fair. Well, now I feel dumb. Do I go in and murder Jessica? Or do I stay where I am and prep for... You say something. I. You voiced should I or should should I, and you made. I thought you were making a reasoned decision. No, I completely forgot that bug form existed. The ghost can probably get the Yeah. Nope. Okay, yeah, you'll need to move a little bit. There you go. He probably can. And he can shoot Jessica from there. So, well, reload first. Mm. 
Okay, and now just can move to a different... Trying to decide if I want to heal Harlequin first. Probably. How about Coyote? Get her over here in preparation for shooting. I would, yeah, I would. Uh... And the tear goes. Yes. Yeah. If you're maneuvering, I would try and just keep uh, Coyote on the boss because she can't switch over to Aegis rounds. about you. Am I still hasted? I can't tell. You're not. I'm wondering if I should cast haste. Recast it. realized I have extra power to this. Is that thing dead? I can't tell. Uh, if it's not showing up as a target, when it was before, then yeah, it's, it should be, that means it should be dead. What about this? She can still use AP, but she can't move. Is she immune to that? Yeah, keep her. Oh. No, no. Mm. It, she says it says glued cannot move. So. Yeah, it, it registered the glued. So. Let's also do acid stream. Yeah.
Are you shitting all over both of my nuts? Nope. You just need to do basic attacks. So another one's open there. True. I'll deal with it with those guys up there. Makes sense. Especially since she can't get to it. Yeah. Reload or hit the pillar? Uh... Reload. Yeah, reload. Oh, this isn't a bombardier. Why did I think it was a bombardier? Because it's got the big bulbous thorax. Excellent. That is exactly how that was supposed to go. I'm wondering I'm I'm wondering if I should Jesus. I'm wondering if I should move Coyote and start wailing on Jessica here and just forget these guys. Um I'd use the apocalypse to keep the soldier occupied. And then move and start wailing on Jessica. She's immune to AP damage. He's not going to hit Harlequin, yeah? Correct. You have ruined everything! Does that mean... Eliminate the rest of the... Okay. So I still got to kill the ads, but... Yeah. Jessica's fucked. You're still gonna kill the ad, but you don't need to worry about Jessica, and there won't be any more ads. Nice! That went way better than expected. Okay. Yeah, I had kind of forgot her that you needed to take down those pillars. Otherwise, she's got major buffs for the ads. Ow. I don't like you. Well, you did miss. It's true. Should I get closer and blow this guy away? Well, you're gonna need at least two guys. You, you, you need two guys on each true form. I do. Oh, that was maybe a mistake. Still good? 
Um, oh wait, this guy went down, didn't he? Yeah, I'd get rid of the I'd get rid of this guy now. It's not worth trying to move him around. Is there another fight after this? No. No, this is the last fight in the game. Okay, so I ended up not needing the uh, water spirit. Yep. You managed to avoid taking a lot of damage. And one last bug with shitty aim. Oh. Congratulations. I think that's like the first time you've done that. I take it that happens a lot. <laughs> well, if you're not careful. Why do you think I keep saying you have to be careful about switching off of Aegis? You have to be careful about switching off of Aegis. Because you were constantly blowing away bugs with Aegis? Yep. Yes! Okay! Is that all of them? Um, oh my god, do I actually have to kill the pillars? I don't know. I don't think so. But... That's weird. Try just ending the round and maybe when there's none there. And we'll, there we go. Objective complete. The once beautiful Jessica Watts is a hollow shell of her former self. Her skin is pale, her lips are ashen, and her eyes are sunken in her skull. It is more than her body's reaction to the physical damage she sustained, or the strain of channeling magical power from another plane of existence. There's something missing from her now. It's gone. My link to the Queen. She has abandoned me, expelled me. Unworthy. Unworthy. It had to be done. The nests would have overrun the city if we hadn't stopped you. You don't understand. There are nests everywhere. In every major city, it's only a matter of time. Oh God, what have I done? I'm Sam. I'm so sorry, Sam. Jesus fuck! Yeah, she deserves to pay for what she's done. I refuse to let the bugs do it. I understand. You emerge from the Universal Brotherhood Chapter House momentarily blinded by the bright lights of the Lone Star Perimeter surrounding the exit. Despite the clean night air, the stench of ichor and decay clings to you, a smell that may never fully go away. You drop your Aegis-filled shotgun and it's quickly spirited away by one of Telestrian's minions. Weapons are slowly lowered as you step out into the street, the order coming from Detective McCluskey himself. You can see James Telestrian just nearby, pulling his strings. It's over. Jessica Watts has been dealt with and Sam has his justice. The dead man's deed is done. All you need now is to make a phone call, and it ends. After we broke up the ritual, Coyote Blue chased Jessica into a small chamber where she was courted by a couple of buggers. Guess they weren't impressed with her performance. They were about to eat her! And... I can't even say something like, I won't let them eat you, Jessica. You're coming with me. You're going to pay for what you've done. It was very dramatic! And then we spotted the bugs and handed her over to the UK's FBI. They're going to want to have a long talk with her about the Universal Brotherhood. So this list is cleaned out. Your cousin Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital for observation. Very clean. 
I believe our Project Aegis was a success, Coyote Blue. Herr Brackhouse is having it weaponized now for, distribute, for distribution to Night Air Forces. The authorities are going to have a great many questions about this incident, and I will need to provide details. The Universal Brotherhood has a great many chapter houses, and they must be dealt with immediately. What will happen next? That is for others to determine. People other than you. Still, you have turned in a yeoman's effort, whatever the fuck that means, and regardless of your obvious flaws, you are deserving of a reward. What would you ask of me? Oh, McCluskey's badge is really tempting. Really tempting. Because he's a corrupt motherfucker, but I have no guarantee another more corrupt motherfucker won't replace him. Just... Well, you actually know the corrupt motherfucker who's going to replace him. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Yeah. See, I can't be sure that either of them is clean with... No, I can be sure McCluskey's clean... Well, no, I can't. Clean with the Brotherhood, I mean. Telestrian's able to pull McCluskey's strings. That means I should keep him where he is for now. Just fucking pay me my money. I would expect no less from you. Mr. Quoth, please place a sizable bonus in our friend's cred stick. A bonus of such size that additional negotiations are unnecessary. I have no interest in furthering our relationship. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty much not going to be able to spend it, unfortunately. Yeah. Looks like you two are best buddies now. Guess that's a, huh? You've captured Sam's killer, and now he'll get justice. He's a little more involved than I expected. Just a little. Well, I'm going to grab Paco, head back to the Union, maybe watch a trit or something, and I could use a long shower, too. After that... Back to destroying the BTL trade? Nah, like I said, that's over. I'm going to take care of Gino, get it back to help, but no more storming BTL labs. But good to hear. That last place was run by the Yakuza. They're not going to forget you. Let them come. If the Yakuza wants me, they're going to find me. Nothing I can do about that. Some people choose to live in fear, but not me. Not today. Today I run the shadows, get paid, get dirty. See you around, Coyote Blue. You're quite a guy. I can also say I've never met an elf quite like you. Well... Uh, thanks for that. Well, kid, it's been fun, but I've seen everything I can to see today. I'm going... I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, seriously, who are you? A friend. Until I need you for something, then I'm a bastard. Is there a problem? Look around! Note the members of the press being shuffled away from the Bur Universal Brotherhood spokespeople to get a private briefing. The Brotherhood's connected. A damage control team is probably on the way now. Think they can control the press? One way or another, they will. If they can't be manipulated, coerced, or bribed, they'll probably disappear. Quietly. There's more, though. Note the expression of the UCAS FBI agent speaking to Telestrian. Dismissive, isn't it? That's because there's no love lost between the UCAS and Tear Tangier. They're not going to trust what he's telling them. And frankly, I have no idea what he's telling them. James plays his own game. Always has. The FBI isn't stupid enough to ignore this. I'm not stupid enough to believe the FBI isn't stupid enough. Um, how could James turn this to his advantage? Well, if there's an economic incentive for one, power for another, if there was an outbreak of bugs in a major city and his company had the only product capable of combating it, you might think that'd give him some sort of edge. I'm not saying he'd do that, but I am saying his field test results were quite compelling. Let me show you one more. That guy there, he's Riveri's Microtechnology. Enormous megacorp. Ridiculously powerful. They've been sniffing around Project Ages for quite a while now. Clearly, clearly, they have an agenda that's just starting to unfold. Gives the Aries man the finger. The man smiles and returns the gesture. Government, media, business, all working to ensure the truth stays hidden. So it's a massive conspiracy. I wish it was. 
In a way, it's worse. It's a series of conspiracies, conflicting agendas and petty jealousies, all building upon, feeding upon, and excreting in a relenting web of dreck that people wade through every day and call it life. If there is one Dark Lord controlling everything, we can drive a magic sword through his heart to free the world. That would be grand. Such clarity. Such focus. Alas! So, what's the lesson in all of this? I did all this for nothing? <laughs> Just the opposite, schmuck. The lesson is this. The game is rigged. The cards are stacked. The dice are loaded. It seems it always was. Every cycle. People in power exert power. Little people cower in their homes to think what they're told to think and buy whatever product will help them forget how horrible their lives are for another day. And that's why we don't play their fragging game. We don't swallow their deck dreck sandwich and politely ask for another. It's why we run the shadows. That's where real life is, kiddo. Reality's living in the places no one wants you to see. Where's Herr Brockhaus? Oh, he flew back to Berlin. All sorts of things brewing there. He's very impressed with you, though. Could probably turn into work someday, but I'd forget about him if I were you. Never make a deal with a dragon, kid. They're playing a different game entirely. I'll see you around, Harlequin. No more doing his voice. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, Tube? This was his voice, right? Little Gruffer. Little Gruffer? This was his voice, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. J.K. Simmons, but as a troll. Is that or orc? Orc. orc. J.K. Simmons, but as an orc. Because I was just doing J.K. Simmons there. Now I'm doing J.K. Simmons as an orc. And this is really hard on my throat. Hey, McCluskey, I just spoke to Mr. Celestrian. He said you got your lieutenant's badge. Did I? I didn't hear about it. Yeah, he said to go to the station house right away. They're throwing a big surprise party short for you. Oh, Drek, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> this is... Heh, I'll surprise them then. This is just me drekking with him. Oh, if you get him fired... You get to say, yeah, yeah, they got a surprise. You should go talk to Telestrian right now. <laughs> I heard the Universal Brotherhood was getting shot up on the police scanner. Knew it had to be you. Did you get her? Did you doubt I would? Not for a minute. I guess that concludes the story of Coyote Blue and the Dead Man's Switch, huh? You know, I've been thinking, maybe you should stay in Seattle a while. There's plenty of ways folks like us can get into trouble here. You only skim the surface. I heard Mitsuyama is looking for a team, and they specifically want elves. No idea what that's about. And I just got the word that something's going on at Crater Lake. The tears got it on total lockdown. No fly zone. The whole thing. There could be something in it for us if we poke around. And there's always the Orc Underground. Haven't seen that yet, have you? I got plenty of friends there who are good for a job. Something's bound to come up. What do you say? Uh, yeah, I'm in. I'll talk to you later. Good. We can hash it out over dinner. If you want to find me, I'll be at McCracken's later. Got a taste for some seafood. Take it easy, chummer. Oh, Dresden. This is Dresden's voice, isn't it? Yes. It's not quite Harlequin's. Harlequin's is more up here and bouncy and not quite as jokery. But, but, uh, Dresden's voice is down here and not British. Okay. Hey, Coyote Blue, I was wondering if I was going to see you again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find you here. Wherever there's mayhem, that's where you'll find me. I guess so. You know, it's all over the Trinvid, right? They found the Emerald City River dead in some asylum out in Shahomish, Snohomish of all places. Turns out he's been masquerading as the head administrator or something. They found him dead from some sort of vigilante attack. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Vigilante attack? Huh? Wow. I know, it's fascinating, isn't it? Well, no one can say he didn't have it coming, am I right? Hmm, that was a double negative. So, the big question, what about the dead man's switch? Now, the Ripper's dead, are you going to collect? Damn right I'm going to collect. Excellent, sure you deserve it. How do you collect? I was told I need a secure line to call the number Sam gave me. Can't use my comm link. Ah, Lone Star's emergency report team set up a secure phone line right here to coordinate their efforts. I can authorize you to use it. Thanks, Tristan. Don't mention it. Take care, Coyote Blue. Is that everything? Is that everybody? 
looks like that's that it. appears to be everybody. Call the law firm, finish the job. You tap in the phone number Sam's lawyer gave you. The phone rings several times before someone finally answers. The image of the lawyer on the on the other end of the view phone is noticeably different from the one you saw a few days ago. The noise in the background sounds like it's coming from a bar. Yeah, he pulled a fast one on me. Oh, hey, it's... I gave this guy a very officious voice, but I don't know if that's appropriate anymore. It's you, Coyote Blue, right? You got Sam's killer, huh? Yep, I got Sam's killer. Are you even a lawyer? Yeah, of course. I'm technically not a lawyer anymore, but, uh... I'll just slot Sam's video for you. Hang on. Fumbles for a moment, the camera jerks crazily. Then it goes to static and replaced by Sam. Good old Sam. I don't remember the voice I gave Sam! <laughs> it's been, like, so long! It's been so long, I don't remember the voice I gave Sam. Hey, buddy! Looking good, looking good! <laughs> if you're calling this number, that means the job is done, right? Congratulations, amigo. I knew you'd do it. You were always a dependable one. More than me, anyway. I just want to thank you for whatever you did. It means a lot. Not even knowing what you did, it still means a lot. Because I know you did something. You know what I mean? I know you made it right somehow. You're the only one, the only one, the only one who ever tried to help me. Ever. Except my sister. She tried. More than what she tried. I never let her, though. I never let her in. I regret that. A lot. Did I ever tell you about her, buddy? We're twins. We're twins, I guess. He's still a twin after one of you dies? I don't know. It doesn't matter, I guess. God, listen, do me a favor, will you? If you talk to her, her name is Jessica. Tell her I'm sorry, okay? For everything. She'll know what's for. She's a Catholic, so she'll forgive me. I need her to forgive me. Just tell her that I love her. Oh my god, I'm actually getting... Anyway, you need to get paid, which would be great except for one thing. I got nothing! Never did! You know how it is, right? But hey, thanks for giving a crap. Seriously, I appreciate it. Tell you what, you feel sore about it, look into my family background a bit. There's gonna be people with money in there somewhere, maybe one of them could throw you a few bucks. Take care, amigo, see you in hell. Reaches forward and shuts off the camera. The video screen turns to static and the call ends. There's a moment of silence that you feel a jacket, tug on your jacket. It's Dresden. So? What did he say? Thank you. He just said thank you. The Emerald City Ripper killings are sensationalized for several weeks. Lurid reports focus on the killer masquerading as the administrator of Mercy Mental Hospital. Soon after, pop singer Maria Mercurial is cast in the lead in Dr. Ripper, a trivid thriller about a reporter who goes undercover as a mental patient to uncover a serial killer. Saddle News Net reports a shootout at a chapter house of the Universal Brotherhood. Witnesses, witnesses claim that a gang of religious fanatics stormed the building for unknown reasons, but committed suicide before they could be captured. All mention of insect spirits, James Celestri III, or Shadowrunners are kept out of the news. One year later, the city of Chicago declares a quarantine area between Lake Michigan and the Des Plaines River. Officially, the containment, Chicago containment zone is despite an outbreak of an infectious virus, but an infestation of insect spirits is suspected by those who know. A mature form of Project Aegis called Fabs 3, is eventually deployed to remove the bug th threat from Chicago. Yeah. USING A NUKE! They, they, they neglect to mention the part about the fucking nuke, but it's a fucking nuke! Yeah, uh, the Fab 3 and the nuke were actually two different attacks. I've been rereading stuff. Yeah. THERE WAS STILL A NUKE! There was. There was. For more information, see the Shadowrun novel Burning Bright. It's quite good. The Watts family name has since been lost to the shadows. Wow. Oh! Harebrained schemes. That's the... That's why the bunny mask. It was a reference to the dev logo. 
That's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that was so good. Oh, I. this is the first time I've completed a game on Last Play, so uh, I get to do a little post-mortem now if I want to. That was... I have no idea. I will be back. Sure. Do you want me to wait for you? Your call. Okay. Thanks, Barry. Okay, so post-mortem on Shadowrun Returns. That was amazing and well-written. Um... I love that the responses, I, the responses didn't change a lot of options, but it really gave you a feel for the character. It let you respond as your character, and I don't know. I feel like that's um, it's not, it's it's nothing game mechanic wise, but I still feel like that adds a lot to a game. Um, it's obviously very true to the Shadowrun source material, which obviously it is because the Hairbrain Schemes is a small team of passionate game developers led by Jordan Weissman, the creator of Shadowrun, as well as a bunch of other shit. You can you can read it there, or possibly you can't. Um, creator of Shadowrun, Crimson Skies, Battletech, Mech Warrior, and many other acclaimed properties, because he originally worked for FASO, it's the companies that developed all of those. But yeah, and he was the head of FASA. So anyway, um, but yeah, um, I really, really liked this. I liked the mechanics. Um, there were there were some there were some, as Mike said, um, really annoying a little bit. Like the pathfinding's garbage. Um, the AI is really questionable in bits, and the fact that you can't use trauma kits on yourself. Or have other people use trauma gets on yourself and automatically game overs when you die. That's bullshit. <laughs> um, like Mike says, as far as I know, a lot of the things got fixed in the sequels. Yep. So if you want to look for those, it's Shadowrun. Is it Dragonfall first? It's Dragonfall. Dragonfall was actually. Um, uh, uh, DLC. For Shadowrun Returns. Okay. And then they did a director's cut, which is a whole new game. Okay. Yeah. That is worth picking up if you like this game. It is well worth picking up. And there was a third game. Was it just called Hong Kong? Or? It was just called Hong Kong. Yeah. Shadowrun Shadow Run Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. I haven't played that one. Mike has. Um, oh, and was Shadowrun Chronicles based on this too? Shadowrun, Shadowrun Chronicles uses uh, a similar engine, but wasn't based directly on this. Okay. It was developed by a different company um, and was in development as far back as Shadowrun Returns was. Okay. But that's like... It's, it's it's a very similar system but it's it's also um, it's also a multiplayer game if you if you want so you can do you can do the MMO thing uh, it's actually defunct now oh is it no oh. yeah they took they had bad reviews and they didn't uh, and they didn't have a lot of support so November of this year they shut down the servers. Well, and that's since it was built as an online game. It's unplayable. It's unplayable even the, now. Even the effect of well, the one player campaign. That tells you how long it's been since I played that game. When I played it, it was still active. It only went defunct like two months ago. Two months ago. I guess November. Three months November ago. feels a long a much longer time ago than it was. Let's put it that way. Fair enough. Anyway, so, love this game, love this series, worth checking out. Um, that's the other thing. The story of the Emerald City Ripper, this story is available for, is it Hong Kong? For Shadowrun Hong Kong as a mod. You can play through the story of Shadowrun Returns with the Hong Kong engine, which, as we said, is a vast improvement. It is a fan... It is a fan um, port. Yeah. So it's been modded a little bit. There are 
There's some, some extra content. There's some Easter eggs. Um, you can find the ghost of Jordan Weissman yeah. sitting at the bar at the uh, at the Union. That's and that's. He'll tell you stories about creating Shadow. And yeah, if you listen to his if you listen to his Gamer War stories, he'll give you shit. <laughs> like he gives you frag grenades and and med kits and shit. It's hilarious. Um, I'm playing through that also. So, but I've been careful with. But I I stopped playing that because I caught up to where I was in this, and I didn't want to mess with that. So. Anyway, I'll go. Probably now that I've finished this, I'll probably go back to that. Not for the channel, obviously, just for my own time. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today and for this whole series. Um, please like this video if you liked it. Comment if it made you think. Share if you know someone else would like it. And subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to support me and what I do, check out my coffee at ko-fi.com slash That's it for now. And I really hope I see you again next time. And so does Mike. Yep. Yep. Play me out, Bowman.